Damn, I just when I put the turn off the phone, look, look, they got them stationed over there, man. Perps in hiding. Perps in hiding. I want you guys to understand the stalking that goes on, okay? No, I don't want to talk about this, the team black. The team black, I love synchronization. 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 Okay. Cults. You know, I still haven't read that book yet that I just bought, Cults in Our Mist, by Margaret Singer. But let me give you a little backstory about her. So she was, at her time, the world most renowned uh, psychologist in terms of uh, expert in cults and cults behavior, cult manipulative tactics, particularly coercive persuasion. And I talked about this before when I, when my therapist tried to deny that coercive persuasion uh, exists and it's a term that is used. See, if you go to the bus stop, you're gonna see the police car. Look, heavy, heavy intimidation tactics. Heavy, heavy intimidation tactics, right? Um, so Margaret Singer, you know, she was a renowned expert on cults. And so in the early 80s, they had a hearing in Congress about cults and their destructive behavior, particularly destructive cults, because a lot of stuff that happened with cults during the 70s. And what happened? She was replaced, her and somebody was another person, too, another psychiatrist. So they were, they were replaced by government-sponsored, CIA-sponsored psychiatrists and psychologists. And they deny that coercive persuasion is a Tool. A woman just walked past me looking on top of my head. <laughs> okay, uh, 4335. All right, so I guess they must be very, very active today. Yes, look at them. Look at them. Bar in the hand. Look at them. Look at them. Yeah, they're upset. Look, look. Yeah, I'm exposing their shit. Right? <laughs> so they try to be slick. Right? They tried to be slick with the target and see the white piece of paper in the, in the hand? Look at him, yeah, fuck you too. Yeah. Give me the middle finger, yeah, fuck you too. Exposing all y'all shit. So, leaving my house, train station, get out the train station, come into the book, I fall on her lips. Oh, it's going on YouTube. Make no mistake about it, it's going on YouTube. Yeah, you can look at my son all you want. Fuck you. Um, so they try to do this intimidation tactic. Uh, no, look, look, what are they gonna do? Drive off now? Yeah, get the fuck off. Yeah, go. You make the U-turn. Yeah, make the U-turn. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. And look, Great Dodge Charger, double park. Why are you not giving it? Why you don't have a ticket? Why they don't have a ticket on the car? Right? Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> look at her. She opening her mouth as the cops go. Yeah. 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 So look. Uh, Great dogs. I talk about the charger, right? I talk about the charger. So they've been parked up here, right? You know these cops are so hungry to give people a ticket, right? Look, there is no ticket. Even though he's there, oh, he's somebody sitting in there. Okay. All right, somebody sitting in there. So yeah. Um, so I talk about the charger, but right? you know, I used to get these uh, messages, white supremacist messages, talking about oh, uh, dodge charger and kill, kill, kill his seeds. All this other stuff, look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're busy today. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm exposing y'all shit. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. Get the stepping. Get the fucking stepping. <laughs> right? So, um, so they just sent me this person calling me the N word and, you know, dog char Dodge Charger. And all of a sudden, I leave to go home and then I see a black Dodge Charger driving down Pan's block. I got home on my block again. Another Dodge Charger, I think I took a cab that night. Another Dodge Charger could pull up in front of the cab. Okay, turn, you know, to go around on my block. So when I talk about these things, you know, I'm showing you guys exactly what it is they do. And I put, I, I have the, the, you know, again, I, I wasn't naming my videos the way I named them now. And I wish I had, you know, and thank you to other, uh, Mr. Riosa, who's another TI who, 
actually brought it to my attention but for years and years i wasn't i was titling my videos the same thing target individual look at she walking looking looking at the license plate at the at the vehicle yeah i got my license on me whatever y'all can stop me but you better have a warrant okay that's it you don't have a warrant you come with this bullshit that i'll fit the description of a suspect whatever i'm gonna tell you fuck you and get the fuck on okay new york is not a stop an id state right and you want to see my id you better have a warrant and you better make sure that the person accusing me of any crime is actually telling you the truth because i'm suing you and i'm suing the person too okay i'm suing this the, the, the police officer himself the police department and new york city there you go since the taxpayer love to you know uh uh pay millions of dollars for these crooked cops okay committing crimes against innocent people look you come with a red shirt now look, look at him look at him look at him with the red shirt yes they they are so predictable and i want you guys to to see this pattern that they do all right i want you guys to see this pattern that they do right at times leave my house they're talking to me with black try to get me to not to record so i'm recording they start looking at my phones falling their lips they'll use the police right see there you go look look you come out of the shop with this black shirt standing there same same dude the car yeah so anyway like i said so they so they'll try to you know do that to silence me while sitting in their car while they have uh civilians walking by falling their lips doing hand signals doing all this stuff right this is this is what they've been doing for years and years this is how like i said these individuals these cops these crooked ass cops and these crooked uh these criminal they're criminal uh, snitches, they're criminal agents in the civilian population. Again, this is nothing new. Germany had go go do a Google search on um, mobbing in Europe, and it became so bad that they had that they had to pass laws. Yeah, whatever. They, you keep looking at my phone. Yeah, you keep looking at my phone. You want it? So they keep. Um, they have to pass laws, right? They have to pass laws against mobbing because it was so bad, okay? And, you know, let me tell you something. In states that have uh, gun rights, this stuff don't go on as, as bad as it does here in states that, you know, where they try to curtail your rights to owning a gun, okay? Because in the states that have that that don't have gun laws, guess what? I'll, some TIs, you know, they did what they had to do. Again, I don't condone it, but I understand. Okay, regardless of whatever y'all may say, what y'all may think about what I said, like I said, I don't condone it, but I understand. When you're being attacked psychologically and with weapons that no one wants to believe because they can't see it, and it is damaging you and it is torturous, that the only way you feel you can stop it is to take out the people who you feel is doing it to you even though they may not be but again this is the mentality that's created in the minds of a victim when they do this stuff okay and they get away with it and they they have been getting away with it but i'm here to say no y'all not i'm going to expose it and i don't care if y'all want to and again they'll use the psychiatric labeling to their advantage always remember that always remember that there was a point in time when black people used to come complain about racism at the job and they used to call them crazy they, they used to they used to call them crazy okay so again when black people and i go i was going back to this because i'm black you know what i'm saying i go back to this because i'm black oh don't be looking at my son yeah. yeah again they come out of the store they keep looking at ethan he said not the bus stop there again those those, those sorts of threats right those sorts of subliminal threats okay so this is what they used to do to us as a people. And I want you to understand the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you looking at the con editor? You looking at my son? Yeah, fuck you, buddy. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Go suck a dick. Yeah. <laughs> so, you hear the police hiring, and I was talking to this dude. He's like, he hit a whoop. Hopefully, he's picked it up. But anyway. Um, so yeah, this is, and, and this is what they do to whistleblowers. This is what they do to people who they have a, 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 a grudge against or what have you, or so, uh, for any matter. 
And again, this stuff is well documented. So why do people participate in this stuff? Because those they can only do it because those in the authoritative position, okay, are the creators, the ones who implemented, the ones who feed them the information, and they are protected. These criminals. This is what they do. All right? This is what they do. So yeah, I'm gonna expose it. There's always gonna be people like me, others. I'm not the first, I'm not gonna be the last. Okay? I just use this method, technology that I have in my hands, in a way in which they never thought it could be done. Now look, you keep walking back and forth. Again, it's all, it's all stage. It's all stage. Right? Comes, open up the trunk of his car. They try, remember, they try to make it look as natural as possible, like they're doing something or what have you, having a conversation. Look, you're looking over at me. <laughs> Don't look over at me, buddy. Don't look over at me. Okay? Don't look over at me, man. <laughs> it ain't happening. So, yeah. And then he comes put his phone in his pocket. The, one, the woman in the red car, you know, sticking her hands in her ears. Yeah, see, I mean, I, I, I can't turn the camera fast enough because I'm not even looking. So, uh, my head is turned faster than uh, me turning the camera. So, I'm going to narrate what, ex what it is exactly that they're doing. Okay? So, yeah. This is what they're doing, man. So, look, the white guy in the scrubs, navy blue. She comes out looking at her feet, you know, looking over at the white guy as he's riding his bike. See? This is what, I'm, let me tell you something. When um, we took Alyssa out for her birthday, every time she was wearing these um, leopard print uh, uh, shoes, right? These uh, heel uh, sandals, what you call block sandals, what have you. And every time she keeps looking down at her feet, I keep asking her, why do you keep looking down at your feet like that? Oh, I'm not looking at my feet. Yes, you are. I said, you just got your, 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 your toes done, okay? There's no need for you to keep looking at your feet every few, every few minutes or every couple of seconds that, 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 that I'm in your presence or what have you. You keep looking down. I look, I'm like, look ahead of you. But this is the stuff that she does. This is the stuff that they get her to do. They manipulate her into doing. So last night, I guess that... Um, and I guess the reason why they're doing all of this too, it could be the reason why they're doing all this because they want to continue to keep you under surveillance, right? You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 what, that's what they want because you see, they, they don't want, look, they keep looking over here in the red shirt. <laughs> oh, look at the black van, look at him. Black van, look, look, look. Clashing his, uh, his rings. Look, look. All of a sudden he become animated with his hands. He got the US decal, the flag decal on the back. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, those who, those who understand brainwashing and manipulation should understand and should know exactly what it is that they're doing. Okay? Yeah, they're looking at Ethan. <laughs> they're funny. Yeah, I'm going to expose it. I don't care. This is going to protect him. Okay? So you might try to threaten him, but this is going to show that anything that, any trouble that he may land himself into in the future, people will know that it's been manipulated, it's been perpetrated. Okay? So... They may, they may look at it as, oh, they're threatening my son or what have you, but I look at it, I look at me reporting as protecting him. See, that's the difference. You understand? So people will know in the future that if anything happens to Ethan, it is because these people have manipulated, perpetrated, and tried to land him in trouble. Okay? So people, so people will understand exactly what's going on. And they keep looking at their phone all they want. Go to the cops, bring it to the cops, get a warrant, come see me. But they're not doing it. Look, you got the third on his shirt. <laughs> look, 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 look. You got it right here. I gotta laugh at this shit because it's funny, right? Again, exposing this shit, what they're doing. Exposing shit, and you hear the sirens now. Look, look, now she's looking down at her toes. Look, look, look. <laughs> uh, I guess they're gonna leave me crazy because I'm recording what they're doing so they can say, oh, he's crazy. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Cause like I said, that's how they get away with their crimes. I'm showing people exactly how it is that they do it. 